What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel, we're going to show you how to reset your service light. If you've got an oil change or service due soon or past due by any amount of miles, I'm going to show you how to reset that light quick, fast, and in a hurry. So stay tuned. Before we get in the car and reset this light, I want to remind you that 99.4% of you aren't subscribed. So I really appreciate that you smash that subscribe button, turn on those notifications because I'm always going to bring you awesome content like this. So let's get inside the car and get it taken care of. All right, guys, now that we're in the vehicle, you're going to go ahead and shut the door and you're going to turn the uh, ignition to the first uh, selection. So if you have a key, it's the first notch. If you have a push button, it is number one or just hit it once okay so you want to go ahead and bring up your trip i'm not sure if this completely matters but i always put it here on the trip um, selection what you're going to do is you're going to hit the end button the call button and the okay button over here all at the same time depress all three simultaneously here you go one two three you're going to sit and hold all right if it resets it to zero you've not done it correctly Okay, so you see how I did that. I probably pressed the OK button first. So that's always something that I use to gauge it. Okay, let's try it one more time. All right, so once it comes up with vehicle data, um, this is your workshop menu. So now you can go through here. You can check vehicle data. Um, you can check things like that. You can go through the dyno, uh, the, the dyno test. Uh, brake pad replacement. I've shown this in a previous video. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it here. Brake, brake pad replacement. For the oil change, you're going to go to Assist Plus. You're going to hit OK. Switch ignition on to activate Assist Plus. You're going to hit to the second position. All right, now you can go into service data or you can go into full service. And it shows what services are due. And you hit Confirm Service. Then after he says Service is performed, of course, I did my oil change. Go ahead and hit yes, and you hit confirm. All right, so it said it could not be carried out because I already did this and I just decided to make a video on it. So that is what you should expect. It will say full service carried out. And then that's it. If you go back one, you'll have the workshop menu up here at the top um, that will take you back to here. But that is how you do it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Quick, short, and sweet. Um, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. Be sure to click that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys in the next video.